Yes, the iPhone 13 series is just days away now and our bank accounts are about to be hit harder than ever before. I know a bunch of people are already planning to get the new iPhone 13, so I figured I'd make this video in order to tell you which new iPhone offers the most value and which one you should be getting. As I discussed in my previous videos regarding the iPhone 13, Apple have decided to target the 250 million or so users who are still using an older iPhone. But I also believe there's quite a number of people out there who have had enough of Android and just want to get their first taste of iOS. The iPhone 13 series is set to bring a lot of differences with its arrival, but when it comes to the design, don't expect anything different from the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 will still come rocking that rectangular shape and flat sides with glass on both sides of the frame. The sides of the Pro models will remain glossy, unfortunately, while the sides of the non-Pro models, the 13 and 13 mini, will be matte. One area in which we do see changes to the design though is in the camera module. So the camera module of the iPhone 13 series is going to be quite a bit bigger than that on the 12 series and that is to accommodate for a bevy of things such as bigger sensors, better glass and center shift stabilization coming to all models of the iPhone 13. On the front, the speaker grill has been moved up a little bit thus making the notch smaller and wait, that's it? Uh, I expected a bit more from the front actually. That's what she said. <laughs> So diving right into the new features we're expecting this year, we've got arguably the most anticipated and talked about feature, and that is the addition of 120Hz refresh rate display. Now, I won't lie, I'm still a little bit skeptical about this. Apple are very capable of delivering a 120Hz refresh rate display, but that is the exact same thing we said when it came to the iPhone 12 series last year, and we did not get what we expected. But if they truly do grace us with 120Hz refresh rate displays, then it is safe to say that the high touch response rate of iPhones plus the fluidity of iOS and then the smoothness of 120Hz will make the iPhone 13 the smoothest and fastest feeling smartphone in the world. But, and there's always a but, it is rumored that the 120Hz refresh rate display is only going to be coming to the Pro models, which are the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, which sucks. If you've been waiting for a high refresh rate display on an iPhone, it looks like you're going to have to fork over the money for one of the Pro models. Another feature which I mentioned earlier is better cameras. Yes, even if you're currently using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the iPhone 13 cameras come with a jump that's significant enough to notice. If you're a regular consumer who just wants to take nice pictures and videos for social media or home movies or things like that, then the iPhone 13 cameras aren't really a necessity for you. You can still do all of that and be happy with the results coming from an iPhone 12 or 11. However, if you're a camera enthusiast or a content creator like myself and you're in the market for a new smartphone, then you're going to want to get the iPhone 13. We're getting features such as portrait videos, Apple ProRes recording, AI-based photo filters, and more. But like I said, that in no way invalidates the performance of the cameras on the iPhone 11 or 12, as they still trade punches with the top tier smartphone cameras and these devices will be on a huge bargain in a week or two once people start getting their hands on the iPhone 13. Nonetheless, if you've got the means and won't have to take out a loan or go into debt or even have to sell a kidney in order to get the iPhone 13, then by all means, go right ahead. The happiness factor definitely should not be underestimated and getting the new iPhone if you can afford it might just add that little bit of extra joy into your life. Another thing that could bring joy into your life is making it through a full day of use without having to reach for your charger, especially if it's the lightning charger that Apple loves so much, which it most likely will be. I mean seriously, Apple would rather take out the entire charging port than give us USB-C, despite the fact that iPad Pros and MacBooks use USB-C. Such sound logic. The iPhone 13 series is expected to come with some nice battery improvements. If we combine the slightly bigger battery cells and the A15 Bionic chips optimization, we're looking at 15 to 20% improvement in efficiency when it comes to power consumption, which is great considering that you get more power but less battery drain. And when your battery does inevitably drain, you can top it up with up to 20 watts of fast charging. And to some Android users, I know that sounds like peanuts, as on the Android side of things, there is a lot faster charging. Even Samsung, who have some of the slowest charging on Android, have 25 watts of fast charging with their flagships. But 20 watts does seem like a decent improvement for the new iPhones, and I'm sure those with fast chargers at home would really appreciate it. So if you're looking into getting the new iPhone 13, the event is on the 14th of this month, pre-orders are likely to be immediately after the event or maybe a few days later and release date will most likely be the 24th. Rumors point to the Apple Watch Series 7 being announced alongside the iPhone 13 but I'm not sure that is actually going to happen. But let me know what you think about the iPhone 
iPhone 13 series in the comment section right below the like button. Will you be watching the events? Will you be getting the new iPhone 13 or maybe an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 11? Or are you going to be waiting for the iPhone 14, which is rumored to come with a hole punch camera? Crazy, right? But definitely let me know what you think in the comment section. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further iPhone coverage like this. You can also check out all my iPhone related videos on the screen right now. Peace.